topic analog to digital converters we were talking about the types of analog to digital converters and we also had a brief discussion on simple counter type adc in our previous in this video we will talk about record type analog to digital converters and also discuss their construction and work but first let us see why we switch to tracker type from the simple counter type analog to digital converters in the previous video we saw the counter type used a up counter which counts up to the signal and resets to get the sample but due to the time taken to reach the input signal again and again and again it loses a lot of information in a way and hence the signal estimated is faulty we also saw the error can be minimized by oversampling but there are some limitations to how much sampling frequency we can produce now moving to the construction of tracking type gates for the construction of this adc some small modifications can be made itself in the simple counter type adc let us see how you can convert a simple counter type to a tracking type adc here is the block diagram of a simple counter type adc when we assume a wave we see its next value is slightly higher or less than the previously sampled value if the counter reaches the wave it has to be stopped there instead of resetting it to zero and must be allowed to increase or decrease the value according to the next sample value this up and down counting can be achieved by a up down count instead of a normal count so we changed the normal counter to the up down count with this change the need of clear command and a need to store at a specific time is long gone and hence control unit is kicked out of the trigger type adc now a up down counter needs two types of input one is clock and the other is a signal to count up and down when we closely observe the output of op amp they were one when the input voltage was higher at zero when it was lower i think we can use it as signal count up and down this reduces the need of the gated clock and the clock input can now be directly given to the counter so these are some changes which can be made in simple counter type to make a tracker type adc the functions and requirement of the other components is same as that in the simple counter adc a op amp is now also used for sampling and gives a logical one when input voltage is greater than the reference voltage and gives a logical zero when this input voltage is less than the reference voltage the dac is used to set reference for the op amp and it is now also having the analog value this dac gives from the inputs from the counter is shown in this chart the storing element here stores the counter values 
with the real time and is always enabled. Now, the working of tracker type ADC seems quite simple as we have the lesser components than before. As the previous video, we will assume a constant voltage, but this time the input voltage can change quite often. The output of the DAC will be shown in the right corner of your screen. Before we start, remember, up down counter or any counter counts the number of clock pulse and the extra arrangement allows it to predict the voltage. It can be correct or has some fault. So, let's say we have an input voltage of 5 volts and the counter is initially at 0. The output of DAC will also be 0 at this moment. The OPAM gives a logical one as output as you can see the input voltage is way higher than the reference value. The logical one output from the op-amp tells a counter to count up by one unit. As the counter change, the output of TAC also changes. Now it equals to one volt again. 5 volt is greater than 1 op amp as a logical one output and count increases by 1. The same continues till the output of DAC is 5 volts. Once the output is 5 volts, the counter does not reset but maintain its position at 5 volts. But here is the problem, which is normally ignored for a large number of bits counter and usually unseen throughout the analog to digital conversion process to a tracker type ADC. Once the output equals 5 volt, the OPAM gives a logical zero, which tells counter to count down and the output oscillates between 5 volt and 4 volt. For high bit counters, the change is usually in millivolts and hence can be ignored. Now, if we suddenly change this voltage value to 1 volt, we see 5 volt or 4 volt, whatever it is at that time, is greater than 1 volt. The counter counts down until it reaches the voltage 1 volt. So, while using for an input voltage with a constant supply, we found that the output is way too fluctuating and is not good to use with constant voltage. Until now, we are seeing only problems in tracker type. But until now, we were judging a fish by its ability to climb a tree. But let's try and see how it swims. I mean, let's see how it works for a wearing wave. First, it tries to reach the analog voltage just as the simple counter type. But the real change comes when it reaches the wave. Instead of resetting to zero, it follows the wave with each clock step by step by step. The resulting graph will look like this. You can see how close it is to the original signal. At the start, the maximum time the counter can take to reach the input analog value is to the t power n minus 1 t clock, where n is number of bits it can count. 
while observing the working of the tracker type ADC, we saw how it fluctuates with a constant signal and the data loss in the start of the counter. So, in the next video, we will see another type of converter which is fast and has less fluctuations, the flash type ADC. We can also solve this problem by increasing the number of bits of the counter or same voltage compared. So, it's all for now and if you haven't seen the previous parts, please visit them once. I will see you in the next video. Until then, learn, revise and if you haven't subscribed yet, then do subscribe. Thank you.